This is Bear River coming at you with a little Mercury video. As I said in the most recent blog post, since I am really experimenting with some new technology and some new software, I want to try a few different things before I go ahead and launch the YouTube channel and a few other endeavors um, here in the beginning of the new year. So let's start with this current Mercury retrograde cycle. Today is December the 1st. It's about 5.13 here in my Pacific time zone. We are looking at a chart drawn for my hometown and drawn for the day that Mercury enters its shadow zone. So the shadow zone, I'll show you real quick here. We'll just advance the chart a week at a time. Mercury is at 27 degrees of Scorpio here. We see we move forward a week, moves into Sagittarius. Another week pretty close to that retrograde point. Once we move another week forward in time, Mercury is now going retrograde. And as Mercury moves retrograde, Mercury is going to go back to a certain point in the chart. And we'll dial this in here a little bit closer. So as we move forward in time, December 3rd, 4th, 5th, it'll be the 6th, the same day as the new moon, that Mercury stations to move direct again in the chart. And so this zone that Mercury will cover not just once, but a second time, and then finally a third time, is what we astrologers call the shadow. We are moving through the shadow zone for the second time, and we're moving retrograde on December the 6th when we have the new moon coming up. Mercury will move forward through forward and for the last time through this certain zone of the sky. And that zone of the sky is going to be the 27th degree of Scorpio through, or 27 degrees of Scorpio, I'm sorry, through to 13 degrees of Sagittarius. So we'll pull this chart back again. And I just want to show you one more quick time what we're looking at for this Mercury retrograde cycle. So we'll advance the chart, move the chart back to October the 28th. And there's one quick thing I do want you to notice. When Mercury first enters its shadow zone, Mercury will be conjunct Jupiter. With Mercury conjunct Jupiter, there are a few different things that we can think about and that we can expect. First off, we have Jupiter, who is Zeus, the king of the gods, and Mercury, the messenger god, coming together in the sky. Jupiter rules over our philosophical thinking, our higher perspective. Jupiter is the traditional ruler of Sagittarius and our modern ruler of Sagittarius. Mercury is the ruler of the opposite sign, Gemini. So when we have Jupiter and, and Mercury together in the sky, we have two functions. A function of higher perspective taking, meaning making, and the function of perception, united. What this means as we go through into this Mercury retrograde cycle here, I'm just going to animate the chart so you can see for yourself what we can expect. Mercury is going to carry the perspective and the meanings that we've come to find over the last year as Jupiter has transited through Scorpio and take this forward. Mercury, our perception, our thought, our rational thinking, our ability to see patterns is what's going to help us come into the Sagittarian perspective, um, expansive desire and impulse towards philosophical thinking. There'll be three different Mercury-Jupiter conjunctions throughout this cycle. You're looking here as Mercury is approaching the second conjunction with Jupiter, which is going to take place at four degrees of Sagittarius. And that took place here just a couple of days ago on November the 27th. As the chart comes to catch up with where we are now in time, December the 1st, we see that Mercury is just now entering back into Scorpio for the final time. What can we make of this time? And how can we use this last bit of the Mercury retrograde period and Mercury's forward travel through the shadow zone um, to the best of our ability and to our greatest advantage. I'm going to turn off the screen recording here, flip the camera around, and talk at you. Of course, real quick, one thing I did forget to mention to you, or rather to let you see here, 
it was just to advance the chart and move this forward until Mercury comes back for that third and final conjunction with Jupiter. We do see that on December 5th, before Mercury stations direct, the Moon and Mercury will be conjunct in the sky. This means that our feelings and our perceptions are going to be united. Of course, the Moon and Mercury are two of the fastest moving uh, bodies in the astrological sky, so this transit period is going to be rather short. But for the day of December 5th, um, certainly for the hours in the um, early evening, late afternoon, we can expect to find that our ability to speak about what we feel is clearer, that our ability to understand our emotions and our moods is better. And alternatively, we may find that our moods are quick to rise, quick to change, um, and quick to come upon us. So let's just move this chart forward a little bit more for you so you can see Mercury there stationing and slowly moving out of that 27 degrees, 28 degrees of Scorpio, moving now into the beginning of Sagittarius as December gets us closer and closer to the big holidays here in the States and many parts of the world and towards the solstice. It is actually on the day of the solstice, December 21st, when the sun moves into Capricorn, that Mercury and Jupiter can join in the sky for that third visit. Here we find that we have moved from 27 degrees of Scorpio to 4 degrees of Sagittarius and now to 9 degrees of Sagittarius. These three meeting points in the sky each offer us the opportunity to have a better sense, a bigger view, bigger view picture of what it is we are up to. Um, for this next year and what it is that we have moved through over the course of the last year. As a sky watcher and as an astrologer, I personally take December 21st to be the new year. As the sun enters Capricorn, it only grows in strength and length here in the Northern Hemisphere. And that seems to me to be the perfect metaphor for the beginning of a year as we embark on new endeavors and strive to build new creations. It is only just a couple of days after this point on December 21st that Mercury finally clears that shadow zone. It'll be on Christmas Eve, December 24th. By Christmas Day, Mercury has already jumped a degree past the 14th into 15 degrees of Sagittarius, and we are on to new things until the next Mercury retrograde cycle. Now let me actually flip this camera around and talk at you a bit about what this cycle holds for us, what the rest of the cycle portends, and how we can use this time of rethinking, re-examination, and reassessment to our best advantage.